Here at Tovu Sound, we wanted to do something big for 2020. So we decided to focus all of our energy into creating what our users have been asking for since the very beginning, a fully customizable instrument that allows our users to create their own patches using their own libraries. We think this instrument will be a game changer for sound designers because it will enable them to create detailed custom patches for any category of sound effects, like guns, explosions, crowds, musical applications, as well as footsteps. Edward Custom enables you to have a faster, more flexible workflow than ever before. Now, instead of cutting audio directly onto your timeline that's difficult to change, you can perform sounds directly from your library. If you want to change those sounds, it's as easy as dropping new files into Edward Custom. No need to recut changes. We created Edward Custom from the ground up with new graphics, code, and functions. We think that you'll love how flexible Edward Custom is and how it gives you unlimited possibilities to create and perform with your own library. This is a walkthrough of all the functions of Edward Custom, so you'll be able to start making your own custom patches ASAP. If you're an Edward user, at first glance, you'll notice there are a lot of similarities between Edward Custom and our other instrument. The interface is very modern, and the first thing that you'll notice is there are no images for samples that are preloaded. In their place are two sample drop zones. This is where you drop your own samples to create your own instruments. The thing that makes Edward Custom so powerful is that you have the ability to drop a group of 40 samples per drop zone. You can drop audio from your OS or any application that allows you to drag audio files from another destination. Let's try that now. I personally love SoundMiner, and that's what I'm using to create my instruments. SoundMiner has some very powerful features that go hand in hand with Edward Custom. Here are some single footsteps that I have in my library. There are a few different variations here. I have a walk, run, land, and jump. Before dragging your samples, you should check where the samples will be loaded. That is indicated here by the yellow dot on the MIDI keyboard. Select a note that you want your samples to play from, either with your mouse or by playing a corresponding note on your MIDI controller. Select a group of sounds and drop them into the sample zone. You'll notice a few things. A waveform will appear on the MIDI note that you had just selected. This indicates that there are samples on this note and on that deck. When you trigger the MIDI note, the samples that you drag will play in sequential order, indicated by the number under the drop zone. If you want them to play in random order, press the random button in the global settings. You will also notice additional controls appear in the drop zone to further manipulate the sounds that you have loaded. Let's go over those controls now. The knobs are for basic controls like volume, tune or pitch, fade in and fade out. The buttons above give you further control. The play and stop button work as a normal play and stop control. The lock button will lock the current sample and prevent the instrument from cycling to the next sample. The small arrows will cycle each sample back and forth. The edit multiple button will allow you to modify settings of the whole group of samples or just one sample at a time. The arrow button will trigger the sample on MIDI release. This could be helpful for samples that you want triggered after the initial transient, like bullet shell casings after a gunshot or debris after an explosion. There are three delete buttons. The first will remove the current sample, the second will remove the current group of samples, and the third will remove all of the samples that are loaded onto the deck. Be careful that you hit the correct delete button if you want to remove samples. The delete deck button turns red to indicate that it will remove all the samples on the deck. The start and end markers will dictate where the sample starts playing from and where the sample ends. Now let's go over note linking. A powerful feature of Edward Custom is that it allows you to link MIDI notes together. There may be a couple reasons for why you'd want to do this. The first reason would be if you want different notes to trigger the same group of sound. This could be helpful for performance. Let's link together C2 and D2. You do this by selecting the C note and clicking on the corresponding color to add it to that group. Do the same thing with other notes that you want added into the group. You will notice the color under the note will change to the group that they are in. Another way the link function can be very powerful is by linking different sample groups together so they play at the same time. The way you link is the same as before, but this time there are multiple sample groups that are linked together. Let's say I want the walk and the run groups to be triggered at the same time to add some weight to the sound. All I do is link them together and then we'll play at the same time. Any note that is in that group will play all the samples within that group. 
the X key will remove the link assignment from the selected key and the X all will remove all link assignments. Now let's add some samples to the other deck and play with the pitch and mod wheel. The pitch and mod wheel function in the same basic way that they do on our other products. For the mod wheel, select the function that you want from the drop down menu and it will perform accordingly. Switch switches from deck A to B. Mix acts like a DJ mixer by fading between each deck. Add will add deck B to deck A. The pitch wheel will play the MIDI note that it is assigned when the pitch is activated while performing. You assign the MIDI note by clicking on the button above or below the pitch wheel so it says learn. Play the note that you want assigned and it will automatically be assigned. Now let's look at the quick knobs under each deck. The quick knobs are meant to be assignable controls that give you easy access to effects for each deck. Instead of hard assigning controls to the knobs, we wanted to give you control to assign the knobs to whatever you please. In order to assign a quick knob, make sure that the effects module is active on the deck that you want to use. Simply click the label above the quick knob and it will flash the word learn. Next, you select the control that you want to assign to that knob. If successful, the knob will stop flashing and the name of the quick control will change to show the parameter that you selected. There are four different effects slots for each deck, and each slot can be assigned one of six available effects options. They are delay, EQ2 band, EQ3 band, high pass filter, low pass filter, shaper, stereo width, and tape saturation. The delay will delay the samples that are played based on the amount of milliseconds that you select. And the shaper is a transient control. Now let's look at the global options. These effects and settings are applied to both decks. The effects are EQ2 band, EQ3 band, stereo width, compressor, tape saturation, and the convolution reverb. The impulse responses that are used for the reverb are from the Tovu sound library. The one-shot option will play the whole sample back when a MIDI note is pressed. When disabled, the sample will only play for as long as the MIDI note is held down. The velocity options are as follows. The low pass will trigger a low pass filter for velocities that are lower and will increase with stronger velocity. Volume will do the same thing, but with volume control. This gives the user the ability to change the volume and filter of a sound just by how hard they press the mini notes down. The reset on play will start the samples over again for every time the host DAW stops and restarts. That ensures that the samples will play through the duration of a sequence. Make sure that the random mode is turned off if using this mode for best results. We hope that you are just as excited about creating your own custom patches as we are. We believe that Edward Custom will make the job of a sound designer more fun, performance-based, customizable, and creative. We are very much looking forward to hearing all of your great new custom patches. Thank you.